All right, welcome all you harp heads to another advanced jaw harp technique tutorial. Now this one is coming to us from at Jamie Bradburn who says that they're, they're, they're making sounds with their jaw harp, but they're having trouble coming up with a rhythm and was wondering if we could make a bass specific um, tutorial and a bass rhythm. And we will do that. So what I plan on doing here is establishing just a simple rhythm and a simple breathing pattern that you can repeat over and over and over again. And Jamie Bradburn, I just suggest you repeat this rhythm over and over and over again. And then we're going to take it a step further. We're just going to add some flair and add some other things to it. So you ask for a bass specific rhythm. And what I'm grabbing is this is an A1 sharp black fire, which is a bass, but it's not a super deep bass. Um, I didn't want to go with something really, really deep um, that I can't play dynamically because a lot of your harps, when they get into the one octave and below that, you can't really play them fast. So let's play something that that is fairly stable. This is an A1 sharp black fire. Although anything in the A1, B1, C2, G1 range is gonna work. And you can do this actually on any harp. So not exactly bass specific, but we're getting bassy with it. What we're gonna do is what I want you to do is I want you to sing. I'm doing out breaths and then in breaths too. Now do it without the voice, in and out breaths. We're gonna do that on the harp and you're gonna to have to match your breathing to the harp. I'm also closing my glottis when I go I'm going Like when we say the words better butter bottle with an English accent, better Butter bottle. Now, if you feel like you breathed out or breathed in too much, bring your lips off of the instrument and either sneak an out breath in out or an in breath out. Watch as I bring my lips off. And this can be very, very meditational, trance inducing as well. So make sure you're seated. Don't do this standing or any place that is unsafe. So let's just repeat that rhythm several times. We're going to. We actually repeat this rhythm 10, 20, 30 times. Play it for several minutes in a seated position with your eyes closed. Really hone in on keeping the rhythm and equalizing breaths. Meaning you don't have to breathe exactly equal in and out. Just find where in and out breaths work to manage your breathing. See there, I brought my lips off, snuck in an in breath. Next, we're going to add a mute to it. We can take this rhythm without even changing it and add a mute. Sometimes you can bring your finger right barely in front or you can bring your finger right in front. Let the jaw harp read come to you. Don't press it in the middle. Let it come to you. Listen, I'm going to play that rhythm and then I'm going to apply the mute. There, I leave the mute. And my finger, you're going to have to find on whatever harp you are, if it mutes well, find where it mutes. Some har harps mute better down here, some mute better here. And I'm leaving my finger a little ways away from the frame and letting the reed vibrate to me. And it causes that dullness, that little bit of interest there. <laughs> Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in some K noises, some K, K, K. So what I want you to do is to say the words K, 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 K. Now we're going to take away the vocalization and we're just going to say K, 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 K. Do that on your harp and time your plucks where you need. Now we notice on when we're making that K noise, we're mostly breathing out. Ka ka ka. And at the end, I want you to bring in that in breath. Ka ka ka. Ka ka ka. 
I'm bringing my lips off at the end to sneak in the in-breath. Now let's make that a little bit more complex. We're going to add a little bit of diversity to it. We're going to ka 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 Now take away the vocalization. Now let's see if we can build that a little bit further. We're going to go And if your harp doesn't play outward, it's fine. You can do it inward. You can do it outward. Just time your plucks where they work best. We're going to do that, and at the end of it, we're going to add the And we can add the mutes wherever we want. I'm going to pepper in the mutes where I want. I'm going to flow along with this rhythm. Be sure to make it your own. Vary it as you feel. Let the rhythm become you, and just really make it your own. Here's the mute. And I'm also opening and closing the glottis there. And I'm going to start using the mutes along with the... There's that mute there. And we can keep that going. If we want, we can take that same rhythm and start varying it a little bit and stuttering our breath. I know we start off really, really simple, and we're going to repeat it until we're comfortable. Then we're going to make it more complex. Let's see if we can go. Now I'm I'm adding in that H notes. And the opening and closing of the gloss. And they're starting to blend in the yik 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 that yik 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 yik. We can throw in that mute and vary it even further. If I want to go whack 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 with my breath, really fire into it. Quick, 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 quick. And I'm actually, what I'm doing, if you see the sides of my cheeks there, whick, whick, I'm letting it come up around the edges of my teeth here, whick, 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 which really starts to vary the sound. Listen where I'm just whack, quick, 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 when I start opening up the sides of my cheeks, whack, quick, 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 I'm really overblowing the harp there too. Add the mute. Uh, 
So I've varied that in a bunch of different ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off slowly like a mantra doing breathing. And I can already feel the calming effects of my, my, my consciousness beginning to alter because we are doing heavy breathing patterns here which makes it hard to make a video and talk and think and everything. But let's see where we go with that. And at Jamie Bradburn, 8377, thank you so much for this video request. Um, we get some of the best tutorials and best spontaneous tutorials. I made this tutorial up this, this morning based on a bunch of different rhythms and techniques I was doing last night. So I'm really thankful when we have people commenting below what they want to learn on the jar. So if anyone out there watching this has a specific uh, video request, comment it below because our best content comes from subscribers subscribers, from followers, and from viewers commenting, asking real-time questions. Anyways, let's wrap this up. Um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more harpery. Make sure to har keep your harps clean, keep them dry, keep them oiled, and most of all, be good to each other. And remember, if you're trying to do this technique and you have a Snoopy harp or a toy jaw harp, you're not going to get good results. So make sure you have a good jaw harp. Anyways, we're going to wrap this up. I love y'all. Harp out. I'm going to do this technique, flow around for it a little bit, and thank you so much for the good questions and good viewership. I'm going to go to the next one.